Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Orgy Runner, and welcome to Dead and Us, a free indie horror zombie survival game which you can download right now on itch.io and try it out for yourselves right now. This is only a demo, so it begins somewhere in the middle of the game. I'm not sure exactly where, but a few objectives have already been completed. So um, we're already thrown right into the fray. Now, I already played this on normal mode, and to be honest, it was a pain in the ass. It just kind of felt, I don't know, tedious. You'll see when we get into it, and I'll play it on easy this time. Welcome to Silent Grove. Ah, so it's kind of Silent Hill inspired as well as Resident Evil inspired. Alright, it looks nice enough, and I'm playing it on low settings with me computer. She, she's not doing very good. Even Fortnite keeps crashing on it for some reason. I think my graphics card is about to give out. Hopefully that's not the case because I plan on selling it at some point soon. Maybe next month. But anyway, this is our hero or heroine of the day. She kind of looks like Claire Redfield a small bit. And also like Ellie from The Last of Us. A cross between the two characters. Good match. Good combo. They're both strong, independent female women. And God knows we need a lot of those these days. Right, now I am going to go over and explore here a small bit, get whatever I can get. I'll break open this crate, or barrel. Take these bandages, yes I will do indeed, and these crows are a pain in the ass because you have to use your gun to kill them. The knife is about as useless as tits on a fish in terms of combat. You can't attack, well you can attack a zombie with it, but... Um, you have to take damage to actually use it. I mean, there's no escaping a zombie's grasp. Okay, get away from me. What a take this, thank you. I will do indeed. Anything else? Wait, check. What happened here? I don't know. He met a terrible fate, obviously. And there is a light show going on back here. I will investigate that later. And there's nothing else back here. No. Now, I know I said I played this on normal mode, but there are a few places I haven't explored yet. Like back here, for example. Oh, there's a gate. Oh, yeah, that's the entrance to the graveyard. Now, I didn't see this area the last time. So, there's definitely going to be a lot of puzzle aspects in the full release of the game. Don't need to use this anymore. All right. So that's already been done and completed. So the only thing left for us to do is go into the graveyard. Wait, what? A little bear. It's not here for long. Huh. What do you mean he's not here for long? Where does he have to go? Does he have a teddy bear appointment or something? A kid in a place like this? Well, that's jumping the gun, kind of. How do you link a teddy bear to a kid? Anyone can have a teddy bear. Don't be age discriminative. Now, I had to watch somebody else's walkthrough because I was killing endless amounts of zombies getting nowhere. I did not know what to do. So, what I have to do is kill a certain type of zombie, I think, and they drop little statuettes which you bring down to other bigger statues and use those statuettes on them and those statu statues will unlock a path for you. Because, uh, the directions are pretty vague. I did not know what to do one bit. And again, on normal mode, I could hardly even kill the zombies. I think I only managed to kill about two or three before I died. So, uh, yeah, hopefully on easy mode, they'll take less hits. Now, if that isn't Resident Evil 4 inspired, I don't know what is. Except, instead of going off to bingo, the zombies are here to kill me. Oh, oh jeez, that was quick. Get away from me. Right, what I am... Oh, shit, get off me. See, those... Oh, 
Holy shit, excuse you. Even the zombie grapples are definitely Resident Evil-esque. Even the GUI. And I do have a good eye for detail. Right, there is a bit of a graveyard scene going on here. Oh, this entranceway is open. That's cool. So what's down here anyway? Oh yeah, these are the statues that I have to bring the other statuettes to. And we got gasoline for our lantern. Yes, our lantern doesn't have infinite fuel. So yeah, good job on that developer. Hopefully uh, gasoline won't be very sparse in the full release. Before I start killing any zombies, I want to find some more ammo for myself. Oh, here we go. Okay, now let's do this. No, get out your gun. Are you going to drop anything for me? No, you're not. What about you? No, get... Oh! No, no, no. Get back. Oh, Jesus, you are really taking the piss. No, 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 get back. Oh, yeah, here's one statue. Are you going to give me another? Have anything to drop? No. Okie dokie. And here's another barrel. But even more ammo, thank God. Because when I was playing this on normal mode, ammo seemed very uh, sparse. Can I reload? Oh, good. Okay, calm down, dear sugar tits. Is that calm down? Get off, get off. Oh, for the... Jesus Christ, woman, get off me. Okay, you're gonna drop a statue? Thank you, I will take this. Oh, there's more of you. Well, good thing I've plenty of ammo to go around. Is it only the zombies with the red eyes that drop the statues? It must be. Uh, they didn't drop anything. Okay, get away from me. Okay, I think those were shotgun shells. Let's put this theory to the test. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. I need to heal. But how does one heal? Okay, ointment. Uh, wait, what does the ointment do? Uh, examine. If combined with a bandage, will make healing more efficient. So does that mean... It will increase the amount I can heal by for a small bandage or, or large large bandage. Hmm. We'll see. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Stop! 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 Go back. Get away from me, crazy lady! <gasps> no! 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 Off. You drop a statue. Oh, you will. And you did. <gasps> Whoa. Nope. Jesus Christ. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure it's the red eye zombies that drop the statues. Okay, and.
and there is another mausoleum down here which I can explore. Oh, that doesn't look right. Might want to touch up those textures there a bit, Dev. Okay, I'm gonna take this LP final, and is there anything else down here that I need? No. Okay, back up to join the Monster Mash. And hopefully it will be a graveyard smash. With me doing the smashing. Of zombies. But you know what? I thought this game was going to be a bit scarier. It's just your uh, typical zombie survival horror. Not that I'm trying to um, diss the game. I mean, it looks nice. I mean, you got the nice textures, the nice grass, the nice everything. But it is getting a bit repetitive at the moment. Okay, there's the other red eyed zombie. Oh, Jesus Christ, the crow. Too many of them. Okay, how many statues do I have? One, two, three, this makes four. And this makes five. Wait, take? Yes, I will. Right, I just need to find one more red eyed zombie. Hello, my friend, how you doing? You've seen better days. And down you go. And thank you, I will be taking this statue. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, I can go back to the mausoleum. Why is there smoke here? That gate is my way out. I need to get there. And what's stopping you? It's just a little smoke. I mean, even if you're afraid of smoke, you could just fall toward the wall here, but no. Horror game physics would dictate otherwise. Get out of my way. Well, on the upside, the zombies don't follow me down here because... That would be a bit of a problem. Given how cramped it is. Okay, I've got to go into my inventory and use this like so. And this is the last one. Now I didn't get this far through my first playthrough when I was playing it on normal mode. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, you have a shotgun for me, do you? Well, I will relieve you of this. I mean, you don't need it in the afterlife. Actually, one thing I want to do call into question is who the hell buries someone with a shotgun? I mean, I've heard of shotgun weddings, but never shotgun funerals. Right, now, how many bullets do I have for it? Only five, and wait. Plenty of handgun bullets, not a lot of shotgun shells. So I will take this out because... I know damn well this thing is going to jump up and do the oogie boogie. And he'd probably be a lot harder to take down than ye old regular zombies. I knew it. See, shouldn't have taken his ship, man. No one likes a thief. No, get back! <gasps> Back, I tell you. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Oh my god, this menu is so confusing. <gasps> oh god. I'm gonna die, I know it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 get back. <gasps> oh, so there's gonna be more zombies to greet me, is there? Well, that is just fantastic. So, did you drop anything else? No? And jeez, for the love of God, close your legs. You disgust me. Oh boy, God, there sure are a lot of you. But I don't have time to deal with their zombie nonsense. Right, get away. Wait, what's happening? Oh Jesus, you know what? I don't think I'm going to last a second against you. Thank you for playing. Well, thank you, Dev, for a decent demo. But yeah, like I said, the only thing that really needs to be cleaned up a small bit is the combat. Especially when doing hand-to-hand -hand combat with the knife, it seems pretty inefficient seeing as you can't get close enough to a zombie without getting grappled to stab it. So just do something about the hitboxes on the zombies and fix the amount of damage you can do to a zombie instead of making it uh, completely random or dependent on the proximity. You are uh, depending on the proximity to the zombie. Just have it as one or two headshots on easy mode or three to four on normal because that was my uh, biggest um, hurdle to overcome on normal in fact I didn't even overcome it, come it on normal because um, I ran out of bullets and I didn't know where else to look aside from barrels and trying to avoid zombies while looking these barrels was quite a task but other than that it is a pretty damn decent game uh, but anyway guys enough rambling if you did like this video Be sure to comment rate share and most importantly subscribe and I will see you in the next one. So until next time See ya